fucking loud. I saw the film and I really love it. I mean, I'm the worst part, obviously, but the movie is absolutely amazing. It surpassed any sort of expectation I could have had. I was blown away by it. I had high expectations too, so so I was uh, definitely blown away by it. I'm so happy. I can't I can't wait for everybody to see it. Really. There's no words. Um, I mean, this being home for me, like this this to me is just sort of it's hugely humbling and seriously overwhelming and. It's always a surprise to me, like I don't expect anything and so when you have a turnout such as this, it's, it's always such a, you know, a real delight. So yeah, thank you to all the people that have been camping for 56 hours, someone, so you know, it's, it's incredible. I have seen the film, I, I loved it. It's, it's a, I mean, it's a great continuation of Candace's story and um, I just love seeing all the people together and we're all underground. It's really, it's a great movie. The movie's really dark, you know, it's a much darker story and and you kind of see how it goes from being about uh, the, the, the games themselves and it becomes more about the rebellion and the fight for freedom for the people. Katniss is an amazing character, she's an inspirational character. Um, I think, you know, a, a person that a lot of people, uh, you know, look up to. Um, a, a good role model for young kids. I think she's, you know, she's someone who, who stands up for the greater good and and is an honest person and uh, she's very admirable. One of the uh, most important things is uh, the character from Katniss. I think people just really connect with her and, and, and Jen brings it to life in such an incredible way. Um, but also I think the story hits a lot of points that people are feeling are happening in the world anyways with separation of rich and poor, um, you know, governments taking control of the people, pushing them down, things like that. So I think it's just really a, a poignant, relevant story for the times. Francis Lawrence, our, uh, our director, is uh, is really handling these stories uh, with uh, with mastery. It's rare that you work on films of this scale for one, and to work on a on, on a series of films of this scale and have a director with such clarity and such calm and uh, and such a complete vision of the overall story is really a treat. And uh, to see his work, you know, manifest on screen is even more of a treat. For me, you know, as someone who's in the middle of it, but for audiences, I think it's gonna be a real thrill. We designed it in a way where there's some surprises for them as well, so even people that know the book will still be surprised and have something new to experience. There's a brand new district that Katniss finds herself in, so we're in District 13, which is a district that she didn't think existed. Um, so it's strange, and she doesn't know who these people are, and she doesn't know who to trust. Uh, and we also eventually, as the rebellion begins, we go out to District 7, we go out to District 8, we go to District 5, we're in District 11 again for a little bit. I mean, so we, we start to see more of Benham as the stakes kind of ratchet up and we see the rebellion grow. Mocking Jay Part 1 really sets us up for the third act of the trilogy. We come out of the arena, we're effectively in a, a you know, a gearing up for rebellion, for revolution, for war and uh, much bigger themes, obviously the old themes of uh, internal individual conflict, but now also with mass populist conflict as well. We're just following Hattis' journey into, like, in, into, you know, as the war is starting between District 13 and, and the capital, you know, there's no more games. She, she just kind of wakes up in a, ca in a district she didn't even know existed and has to kind of piece herself back together. I think the movie is tremendous. It's so exciting and the canvas just gets larger and larger. And everyone gives such a wonderful performance. It's a very, it's a very touching, very exciting film.